Hey you guys, this is Nathan. Today we're learning how to layer anything in a photo using Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is a piece of software which you can get like a free trial for, but eventually you'll have to pay the $25 to $50 for Affinity Photo, and then they have a suite of other softwares, Affinity Designer and Affinity, oh, what is it called? Publisher. Uh, those three pieces of software work together really well and I've been testing this out, seeing if Affinity Photo is good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to layer anything in a photo today. So we're gonna back all the way out. Uh, at the end, you'll be able to like move text and have it be behind the person's face and everything like that. You'll be able to move the person around because you've made these layers and stuff. But let's hop all the way back to the beginning so we can uh, show you the full process. So first you're gonna go and you're gonna hit open and you're gonna find an image that you want to layer. Uh, so we could select an image like this one. So we've got that there. And what you want to do at the start is you'll want to, you know, go through and make your edits, your changes and things if you wanted to color adjust anything in here. So if you wanted to uh, increase or decrease or whatever. But when you get to the point when you're ready, to just select the subject where that you're going to want to cut out of the image so then you know you can paste it back in as a layer uh, you'll want to select that person first so uh, that's going to be me here and with this selection brush which uh, the hot key for that is w but it's just the fifth brush down on the modes here and you want on the modes you can do subtract or you can do add you can change the size of the brush you can snap to edges all layers, soft edges, you can refine it. And actually that refine, uh, there's some different things you can do here to help feather things. It's really nice that with a paid piece of software, you get some more functionality that you normally don't see on the free software. So we're gonna zoom in here and we're going to just start selecting. I'm gonna increase the size of this brush a good ways. And what's nice is that as I'm selecting, and actually, this is selecting really quickly. Like if I were to start on like my tooth or something, my teeth, you can see that it starts to just select different parts as you go around. Cause it's guessing where it's like, hey, these pixels around where he's selecting are about the same. Should we just select these as well? And they're gonna say, yeah, sure, go for it. So really quickly, like in a matter of seconds, you can go through and you can select the entire, um, person like this is so quick so simple uh, because it's going along off of what you're selecting and it's guessing along the ways a little bit like right here I didn't get all the jacket now I've got all the jacket over here I didn't get some of my neck now we'll just get all the rest of my neck go up here see how it's doing with the hair it's doing okay um, stuff like that kind of forgot some of that part Forgot some of that part. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we got it there. If you got it selected, now if you wanted to be real particular, you could go to the soft edges or you could refine certain things or things like that. Um, if you wanted to be real particular, you could zoom in and say, hey, I really do need, you know, each of these little hairs in here to be selected and stuff like that. It's going to be a little tough when you have stuff like that, but, you know, it's depending on how long you want to spend to try to get to where you want it to be. So, um, to each their own, uh, for sure. Uh, so, you get your, your subject selected here, and then you're able to just copy that as another layer. Go over here to the Move tool, got that selected. I can right click right here and I can go to copy. Go to copy, I can right click again, hit paste, and there it is pasted another copy of myself. And I could paste as many as I want, I could do however I want. Now, what's awesome is that over here in Affinity Photo, you have the layers. And you can see there's one that looks like the full photo, like the, uh, you got that, and then you have one that's the cutout. So. You can click on these and it'll show you what it's selecting. Like this one is selecting the whole image. This one is just that small part. So you can move that around. And in this case, uh, 
it did pretty good. The hair here on the side isn't the greatest, but also my hair is kind of a mess anyhow, so we'll have to live with it. So what's going to be happening is you're going to uh, line it all up, or you can go back to where you first pasted it, and it's all lined up already. Then you can go over here to text, go to text in here, make your text whatever size you want it to be, and you can write in layer um anything let's see and then we can decrease the size and all that good stuff all right okay so we get the text out here now the challenge is that hey i don't have the text layered it's not actually layered yet you can still see uh, the text right over my head. Now why that is, is because if you look over here at the layer stack in Affinity Photo, you can see at the bottom, it has the first original image, second one is myself, third one is the text. What you wanna do is you wanna grab the text, drop it below. So what that'll mean is that it'll be below uh, that cutout. So that means cutout is gonna be in front of the image. What happens there is you have it where the text is behind the cutout and it gives you that layered effect what you can then do is let's say you wanted to do add more things into this image you could cut out like the rocks you could cut out different things and you can weave in different elements and you can put stuff over things put things under stuff you know you can do all sorts of stuff like that and it works really well then it's just a matter of you know making your text look really good and i'm still in the process of learning all of what uh, Affinity Photo has in here, uh, but there definitely is a lot if you look around. Um, some of the stuff in here, so like there are some different outer line effects, different ways of adding some different borders or backgrounds, things like that. Uh, but that is, in short, how to layer anything in a photo using Affinity Photo. I hope that was helpful for you guys. It definitely is a very fast process. And the reason why is because of that auto select tool, which if there is a photo editing software that has that in a free form, uh, that would be really cool to see. I wonder if GIMP has something that might be able to work with that. But yes, Affinity Photo, it's not super user friendly, but if you do learn it, it can save you a lot of time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.